Hello Leo, I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'll be doing your X spread for the month of March 2019. Um, let me get the, you know, the beginning stuff out of the way. This is a general reading. It will not apply to every Leo. That is impossible. Um, it's not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, please email me. My email is in the box below um, and I'll give you all that information. Also, um, thank you to everyone who has purchased a personal reading. I'm truly blessed and so thankful for it. Um, you guys are amazing. Also, thank you to anyone who has donated to my channel. Um, all the help is truly appreciated. I'm trying to make this into a business and offer um, a multitude of things. Whether you're local or, you know, overseas, what have you, I would like to offer a little bit of everything. Um, also, if you have any input and things that you would like to see or you wish that other readers would offer, feel free to let me know, either in the comments or, you know, in an email. Um, and I'm going to put this in the comments as well, just so that you can read it, but if you would like... Um, me to answer a question in my next general reading under your sign um, with a minimum donation of eight dollars I will answer questions so just send eight dollars to at least a minimum of um, for each question if you once you send that to my PayPal please include your name your question and your zodiac sign because I'm telling every sign this so I will get confused and won't know you know which video to put it in if you do not do that um, and if I get too many questions, then I will just do a separate video for the questions. So keep your eyes peeled for that, especially if you make that donation. Um, and any denomination is always welcom welcomed, as I said. I did get a mic, so hopefully my audio is better for you guys. Um, and I did get some new cards, so I like to keep things fresh and exciting for everybody um, and change stuff up because I get bored and I don't want you to get bored um, but I can't do that without your help so thank you to everyone who has helped already that you guys are so amazing um, so I keep wanting to call you Pisces I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or or if someone is or if you have Pisces in your chart um, but I seriously have Pisces on my brain right now. Like it's come into my head multiple times. I've meditated on Leo um, and didn't mess up once then till I clicked the play button on here. But anyways, so if you're dealing with a Pisces, that might be why. Um, your overall energy is kind of sullen, I'm going to say. It's not... It's not happy, it's not sad, but it's it's just kind of muted, I guess. Um, and we have card 52, goddess of the moon. Um, 52 breaks down to a 7, so I don't know if any of you follow numerology. But with this card being, I'll put it up right first so you can see it. Hopefully it doesn't glare. Um, but with this card being in the reverse, it is... It's about not listening to your intuition, not listening to your higher self, not listening, listening to what, um, what is good for you, for your highest good. Because um, in the upright, she's very intuitive. She's, you know, she's centered. You're not centered at this time. You're not, you're ignoring your, your inner self for some reason. Um... I don't know if it's because you want to be with somebody or be in a different situation um, that might not be good for you, but it's because you have these feelings that you can't explain or you just love somebody and you're willing to sacrifice that. Um, but whatever it is, it's something that you're not listening to that you need to, you know, center yourself and really go within because um, the answers that you're seeking are within you. Um, you're not going to find them from an outside source. And then we have Door to Romance, number 33, which breaks down to a six. So we have seven and then six. And I did pull them in that order, so that's kind of going backwards. But Or you could look at it as progression, depending on, you know, how you want to. Um, you know, half glass full, glass half full or half empty, you know. It's all about perception. 
But anyways, um, the door to romance reversed is, it's about needing self-love. Um, not, not looking for love outside of yourself because you need to work on yourself. And that's probably why this card came out as well. Um, because once you love yourself and you get to that self-satisfaction, like, so, like you're satisfied with your current situation, with you, with, um, with your hopes, dreams, desires, what have you, no matter what they are, that's when love will come in. It's almost like, um, we attract what we're, what we are. So whatever level we're vibrating on is what we bring in, um, so this is like, I get the sense that you want love, you want to be with somebody, whether it's somebody from your past, I mean, this is an ex-spread, but in general, I'm just saying, you want that connection, you want that loving bond with somebody, um, but in order to get that, the universe is not going to send it in until you open the door of love to yourself, you know, unlock, whoop unlock this cage, you know, and take your heart out and nurture it. You are very guarded right now, whoever I'm talking to, or for the most part, I, there's a wall up. Um, somebody is afraid, afraid of love, afraid to be loved and afraid to love because you don't want to get hurt. You've probably been hurt multiple times in the past. Okay, so with the X spread, I'm going to read it as if this is you, Leo, and then this is your ex or who you're, uh, who you're thinking about heavily from the past, and then we're going to do the central energy, so the mutual energy, what is bringing you two together, keeping you apart, what have you. It's just the energy between you two. So at the bottom of the deck right now, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm trying to get it so you can see. Well, there we go, if I tilt it. The Ace of Pentacles is really great. That's a new beginning. That can also be a tangible new beginning. You could be, you know, getting a new job. Um, you could, it's, it's a secure new start. Whether it's in your grasp and coming your way, it's already here, or you're thinking about it. But then after that, we have the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So to me, I mean, the page of wands, that can be younger energy. It could be a child, especially if there's children involved. Um, but overall, it's a message. He's a messenger. He takes action. It, it's, it can be good news or it can be bad news. With the Ace of Pentacles being there, I'm going to say that it's a message of good news. And for some of you, it could be um, a new job. It really could be. Um, you could be hearing back about an interview, something like that. Um, because with the nine of pentacles, that is single energy that she's, I mean, you could be going off on your own, starting your own business as well. She's an entrepreneur, but she's happy. She's content in her garden, you know, tending to her flowers, her pentacles and talking to the bird. She's just doing her thing and she's totally okay with being by herself. But to me in this image, the bird is talking to her, delivering a message. And then we have a messenger here. And then we have a new beginning. So, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you could be receiving... I just, I heard nosy Nancy, and whenever I say that, that's, that's what I say with the spying card and with this bird right here. I almost get the sense that there is some interference. There is somebody who is probably ta telling you that so-and-so is doing this and so-and-so is doing that. So they're probably, you might have a friend or a mutual friend or something who is spying on your ex for you or they're just doing it because they're bored and then they're telling you all this crap like, did you know that Joe is dating Susan and, you know, I saw them at the mall together and he bought her this Louis Vuitton bag and, oh my God, it was so expensive. Can you believe that he would do that? Did he ever do that with you? Like, causing drama. Nosy Nancy is being dramatic. 
So I don't know if this person's going to come in and actually say something to you and you're already going to be like, dude, I'm single. I, I have my new beginning because, you know, you already assume that you know what's going on in this person's life. If you have somebody who is um, doing that, like a friend, mutual friend, whatever, acquaintance, uh, I wouldn't listen to them because they're probably feeding you a bunch of horse shit. Some of it might be true, but some of it might not be. Because people like to stir the pot, especially when they're bored. Or if they want to be with your person or your ex. Or if they're friends with the person your ex is with. Or if they just are jealous of you. You know, jealousy, envy, that can be nasty. So anyways, that could be for somebody that is not for everybody. Um, that's just what I get. So there's a single vibe going on. We need some self-love up in here. Excuse me. So what is the mutual energy between Leo and their ex? And I feel like some of you are almost there. You know, you're doing some inner work. Um, not all of you, but some of you. You, you all are on different levels. So don't get discouraged just by my saying that because I'm going to tell you like if you you'll know if you've been doing the work within yourself and you're content and you're happy and things are going well for you and you're really listening to your intuition, your gut, especially if nosy Nancy's telling you crap and you're not feeding into it because you're like, I don't need this in my life, you know, those are the people or the Leos that will, um, that this door is slowly opening for because you're doing the work and you're drawing in somebody. Might be your ex, might not be. They like to come back when we're in a good spot, so we'll see. All right, so the mutual energy between you and your ex is the Three of Pentacles. This is also work, and I got that work vibe for some reason. And Justice. <sighs> So you might want justice in this situation. Um, there might have been something that this person did to you in the past or did within the relationship that you want um, it to be justified. Whether it was third party or not, doesn't matter. You know, we have all kinds of different um, issues within our relationships and it's not always other people. And sometimes a third party can be a friend, family member, what have you. It's not always a lover. But anyways... Um, the three of pentacles is working together, but it's all, it could be work in general. It's also, you know, like learning something new, um, seeking not advice, but, um, gathering information, like learning more about a, a specific trade. Um, but in this depiction, this is definitely not working together it's collaborating usually with the three of pentacles but this one I don't know if you can see but she's up on the ladder you know tending to the pentacles and the roses he's ordering her around like turn it this way do it that way pick it that way like telling her what to do and then this guy is reading the directions or whatever like he's probably off in la la land you know the lazy guy at work that doesn't do anything and he hides in the corner that's probably what the bunny's doing but they're not really working together people on the outside might assume that they're working together or think that they're collaborating but they're not she's doing all the work so i feel like this wasn't very fair and somebody wants justice because they put in more work like you didn't put in enough effort i i worked really hard for this relationship i tried i did this i did that and you just sat there and read the paper like <laughs> you know um and it also could be that somebody wants to work on things and somebody wants things to be fair yeah you might want to work on, okay, one of you might want to work on things in a fair and just manner, like, you know, literally collaborate. Like I said, this isn't very fair. And then the other one, or some of you might be like, no, I want justice for the situation. This wasn't fair. I don't want to work on it anymore. 
And if we do, you need to put all the work in. But we have the Sun card at the bottom of the deck, and that is also a Leo card. It's happiness. You could be, like I said, working on yourself, um, working on your coin, you know, um, working on your stability. So let's see. What is in Leo's thoughts? What is Leo thinking about this X? What is Leo thinking about this X? Woo. King of Swords. The King of Swords is very logical. Um, he's intelligent. You might be learning something new, like focusing on studying. Like you might be going back to school, or like I said, a new job. So you might, you're mentally, you might just be focusing on yourself and. Um, improving on something, learning something new. Um, but for some of you, you could also be gathering information about your ex-person. But with the King of Swords and Justice here, the King of Swords can also be a lawyer, can also be a police officer, a judge, you know, a person in uniform. And with the justice system here, it could be court working together on a court matter. Some of you could be like law interns or studying the law. Um, but I also get that some of you could be going to court and you might be trying to find out information on this case. Something with the Four of Pentacles that you're withholding, you're holding back information you're holding back information it's almost like you want to move forward quickly you want to say something but you feel stuck you're you're gathering information you're thinking what, what are you gathering why is the king of swords here hey one more for the king of swords and leo's thoughts please gathering information about a new beginning whether this is your own new beginning or if it's a new beginning of your exes but I think on your mind um, you're trying to figure out how to start over some of you want to start over by yourself like move forward like I said going to school new job whatever new li new me new life like new life new me whatever um, and some of you are trying to gather information on how to justify the situation to work together to be back with this person to have a new beginning with them um, there's secrets here you're trying to figure something out you're trying to be logical about a new beginning as well like should I like is there still things I don't know there's things you don't know about an ending because we have the moon the death card and the five of pentacles so with this this is things being done in the dark. You might have some clarity, but very little clarity. So there are secrets here about an ending, about an ending or a new beginning or both. Could you end something, start something new? But I think it's about an ending being left out in the cold. Um, it could also be why somebody lost their job. You, if, For some of you, if you work together, if you were coworkers um, and in a relationship, one or both of you has lost, isn't working for that company anymore. You lost your job. Um, somebody could have said something behind your back, and that's why you lost your job. You're trying to figure out what the hell is going on here, who it was, why it ended, and you're not giving up on it, whatever it is. So like I said, you're trying to figure out why something ended. Yeah, why commitment ended or a job. There's pentacles. It's for some of you I feel like it's why did this job end? And for some of you it's why did this relationship end? I know this is an X spread, but the people who are wondering why their job suddenly ended, it's due to secrets, gossip, nosy Nancy saying shit more than likely, um, people not working together and it's almost like you want justice in that situation because I feel like you were your ex you and your ex worked at the same place. You were employed by the same employer. 
if that's the case. And then other ones of you want to know why things ended in the relationship. So what is on Leo's ex's mind? That's why you don't shit where you eat. <laughs> you know, like, you, I know, like, people meet at work because that's, like, the majority of your life. That's where you are all the time. But uh, well, if it doesn't work out, you know, it's like some people don't want to go to work anymore. It just causes problems. I'm not saying that's all of you, Leos, but that is definitely for somebody. Okay, this other person has a four of swords in their mind. They are trying to heal from this situation. They're taking a break. They're thinking. They are thinking about moving forward, but it is stressing them out. There might be distance between the two of you. They want to travel. There could be water. Like when I say distance, you could be like they could be over the river, across the ocean, in another state. So they're kind of sitting tight trying to think trying to think of what to do um, and if they lost their job they're trying to heal from the situation some of you could have like your ex could have um, had an illness or an injury that they're recovering from as well not all but someone out there so but I get more of a sense because they're thinking about it. They, they're thinking about how to heal the relationship, how to bring it back together. All right, so how does Leo feel about their ex? How does Leo feel about this ex? What's in their feelings? What's in Leo's feelings? Queen of Swords. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, both on your side. In your feelings, some of you might want to cut this person off, but I really get the sense that you want, it's more of a truth. You want the truth uh, about a situation. Um, those of you who are trying to figure out a new beginning for, for yourself, you want to cut this person out. You don't care about what they have to say. You don't care about their truth. You're like, nope, I, I know the truth. I know enough of the truth. I'm out. Um, and then for those of you who are trying to figure out a way um, for a new beginning, you want the truth. And you want them to come in quickly and tell you the truth about the past. You're like, man up. A lot happened. I went through this depressive state. I don't care if you're trying to heal from losing your job or if, if they were with someone, losing your girlfriend or boyfriend. Like, I know you're sad, but I still have feelings for you. Come on. Fight for this. Fight for this union. I want to reconcile. Let's heal from this ending. Like, that's what you're getting. For some of you, that's what you want. You want that truth to come in. Um, I, feel, I just get the sense when I look at her, you feel, some of you feel that this person is withholding information from you. You also, some of you might feel, sorry, I keep, I'm not used to this microphone and I keep moving. But anyways, um, some of you might feel that they are your counterpart. Um, that you want to make this work and you could be going through a divorce but you don't want the divorce and maybe they do or you want it and they don't um, they're trying to heal from some very cutting words they could be healing from from fighting words you know I'm pissed off give me the truth Ooh, I don't know like you know could be for some you could also feel that they're just very cutting with their words, that they don't communicate the way that they should. How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? Okay. Well, Leo, your ex has the Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Wands. 
So it's like they feel, they either feel like they want to move very quickly towards you or communicate very fast, that they want to reconcile, that you make them happy, that you give them the attention that, that they need, that they want, that they desire, that they feel that this um, reunion, this rec reconciliation will be victorious. Some of them feel that way. Some of them might feel that either you have a third party um, because you're a quote-unquote attention whore. You want attention. Sorry, I shouldn't have said it that way. But anyways, they might feel that you want attention and that you're just, you're mo they want to move away from you because of it. Others might be feeling that you are celebrating that you're being recognized and that you're moving away from them like they might want to move towards you because they feel that you are in a very good place whether you are or not it's like I feel like you give this person attention that they like and they want they want to reciprocate that They want to travel and reunite. They want to work on things. They just don't know how. You're their wish fulfillment. But they're sitting here thinking about it. Yeah, they're thinking. They definitely... They definitely miss you. Whoever that is. So... What is Leo's action? What, is, what action is Leo going to take in this situation? You're going to end it. You're either going to stab them in the back or you're just... Especially if this is a legal matter, you're going to do whatever you can to win if that's the case. Um, because you know the truth. You've been doing your research. Um, they didn't put their work in like you did. I just feel like you don't feel that it was very fair. It wasn't just. You put too much work in. You, you know, you waited around for communication and it didn't come in because they're in hermit mode. So, you know, you're just like, I'm, I feel like you're being very self-focused. What is this Ten of Swords? How are they going to end it? Why is that their action? I just want one more. Why is that their action? Nine of Swords, because you're stressed out. Because you don't want to deal with this anymore. Because they bring a lot of... They bring a lot of stress into your life. A lot of worry. A lot of sleepless nights. It's like, ugh. I can't... You know, they very well could have had a third party. Especially with the Three of Cups being on their side. They might be the attention whore. And you know it. And it's like, I can't deal with this. I'm ending this. And I just noticed it, too. They hurt you. You're the king of swords over here. That's Humpty Dumpty. He's in a bunch of pieces down here. He fell off the wall with all the swords, so he not only cracked, he's been stabbed. You're hurt by this. This person hurt you. You're thinking about moving forward and not with them. By yourself. Some self-love. You do want them to apologize for their actions, though. For probably being promiscuous. Um, they could have been hot tempered as well. You want, you want justice in the situation, regardless of what happened while you were together. Like, I feel like something negative took place, whether it was third party interference, um, you know, addictions, codependency issues. Um, it could even be abuse for some of you, not all of you. And that might be why the laws involved here. But whatever it was, regardless of any of that, you just want justice in the situation and you, in your action, you're going to end it. Um, what is Leo's ex's action in this situation? What action are they going to take to towards Leo? The magician. They're going to try to manifest this or manifest something. Manifest waiting. <laughs> They're waiting, they're waiting for money, some kind of stability. 
This person really could have lost their job. All right, what are they manifesting? The past. They're manifesting you, probably for security. You might be doing a lot better than them. Yeah, they want to move to calmer. They want to move towards you. There is distance here. They want to start over. They're hurt. There was an ending. There's something going on in their world that hurt them. They're trying to gain strength. I want one more. Six of Cups and the Magician. Why is the Magician here for that? They want to apologize. They want to come forward and say that they're sorry for whatever they did. They want to come in with an emotional offer and say, Here, Leo, I'm so sorry I did this, that, and the other. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to end things with you. I didn't mean for that to happen. I want to resurrect this. I've been watching you, and you're doing so great, and I need you back, Leo. I'm just kind of hanging out, thinking about how I can make this happen. How am I going to get to you? Can you please help me? I want to offer you this pentacle. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They feel like they effed up. All right. So what is Leo's desired outcome? What does Leo want to have happen with this ex in this connection? What is their desired outcome? This is why there's self-love here. I know some of you, you know, might eat up this apology and whatever and go backwards. But I think a lot of you are self-love. Like I was, I was just going to say self-love. And then the Ace of Cups came out. And this time for what you want, especially with the Ten of Swords being here with the Nine of Swords... I feel like you want, I mean, we have the Ten of Cups. That's emotional fulfillment. Some of you might meet somebody new. But with temperance, it's like half and half. Okay, I'm going to say what I was going to say because I'm going to get sidetracked looking at that. With the Ace of Cups, I was going to say that you want to focus on yourself because things weren't fair here. You put in more work than this person did or vice versa. Someone put in more work. Your love wasn't matched. And you know it. So you want to fill this cup up for yourself. It's like instead of handing the cup, I feel like you're taking it back. Like this is, I love myself. And then for some of you, for others of you, like I said, some of you are working on yourselves and moving forward. And others of you will take this person back. For those of you who want to take them back, it's right here. You want to heal the situation. You want reconciliation. They make you really happy. Just make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. You know, that this is really what you want because history has a tendency of repeating itself. But, you know, we all have free will. We do what we do. Um, I feel a lot of you are going to focus on self-love, which is awesome. So what is Leo's ex? What is their desired outcome? Woo. But that's what you want. Doesn't mean that's what you're going to do. Where the hell did it go? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm attached with this thing, so I can't go very far. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I saw him a moment ago, too. King of Wands. Oh, Jesus Christ. I saw him before and I wasn't pleased because I saw the devil and guess who's at the bottom of the friggin deck yeah with the Emperor and stress oh geez and the Queen of Wands okay well then we have the star after that that's a lot so let's see their desired outcome well, we have counterparts, like, literally, we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands and all this crap in between. So, I feel like with the King of Wands and the Devil, he probably is hot-tempered, that he wasn't very fair, 
He could have been very promiscuous, could have been a cheater, liar, you know, whatever. He is not the best person, especially accompanied by this energy with the devil. This is repeating history. He doesn't change. He might come in and apologize and be like, I'm so sorry for doing this, that, and the other. I'll never do it again. He'll be good for a couple weeks to a month, and then he'll go right back to being himself, like what he was doing. And it's almost like split personality right here. One can be loving and doting, and one can be an a-hole. Like... Two people becoming one because the devil, like when the devil comes in, this could be addictions too. It could be a toxic friendship or family member as well. This could be a father figure, an uncle, grandfather, what have you. But this person might be influenced by this individual also for some of you. Whatever he's influenced by, it is negative, whether it's a, a person or a substance, what have you. Um, I just heard gambling could be a gamble, like could have a gambling addiction. Maybe that's why this person's resting and recovering because they don't have, they lost all their money. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he could have gotten in trouble with the law, especially with it being like that, like in that setup. And then we have the queen of wands with the eight with the eight of swords so she's mad I mean look at her face she does not look happy and she's stressed this is feeling mentally trapped and this is this person's desired outcome they want to mentally trap you what the hell's wrong with this person no this took a weird turn and it reminds me of Libra Libra's reading I don't know if they were dealing with a Leo to uh, a Leo I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Well, can't talk. I did say Pisces. I didn't do Pisces read yet. We'll find out. Anyways, this is a toxic dynamic. The only way that I could possibly read this in a positive way for them wanting this to be their outcome is they want to get help from somebody, from a father figure or something, for their bad behavior, for their addictions, to relieve the stress, to heal this, to get you out of that mental imprisonment. So in a positive way for some of you, it could be that they want to heal themselves and the situation. Um, but I have a feeling that the reason why the self-love and not listening to your intuition is here is because this person was not only taking from you and not working with you and lying to you and probably cheating on you they were probably hot tempered and I'm not diving into that energy because I do know that there are toxic people here there and everywhere so if you were dealing with an abuse uh, an abuser definitely don't take this person back and bravo if this is your action bravo because that's that's what I like to see self love get them out of your life um but for the majority of you, I don't feel like it's that abusive energy. I just feel that this person has some inner demons that they need to work out and heal. They need counseling of some kind, but they want, ultimately, whether they tell you or not, they want to get some kind of help. And if it's not what they want, they might be forced into getting help by the judicial system, depending on what they did. Because this is also healing with the star you know wish fulfillment healing they have they have some burdens so um, what is the possible overall outcome between Leo and this ex not the desired outcome the possible outcome in reality what is the possible outcome for the month of March I'm not taking it come on what is the possible outcome Well, possible outcome is divine timing. <laughs> Things are moving forward in the way that they should, in the time that it should. It is taking its time for a reason. So if you're wondering why this process hasn't sped up, why they haven't come back this, this fast, they might be getting help. Um, if you are dealing with court proceedings with this person, 
I do have a feeling they will go in your favor. But this person is going to try to get the upper hand here. Okay? Especially in court. Five of so five of songs. Five of swords. These people were painting painting the bushes, painting the roses red. So they were doing this this woman's dirty work, basically lying for her. And even then she takes all the swords and she's being a bitch about it. Like, she wants to have everything. I want it all. I want the upper hand. Um, and I feel like somebody wants to do whatever they can to get the upper hand. This is deceit, lying, cheating, stealing. Somebody could be going to jail for theft, whether it's a Leo or it's your ex. I think it might be the ex with this negative energy here. Um, I just heard community service too. They might have to do community service for whatever they did. They could have stolen from their job, from their place of employment. And if you guys worked together, they could have blamed it on you. And you want the truth of what the hell happened here. God, I hope that's not the case. Could be for some. And then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not always. It can just be an emotional state of mind. He, you know, he suppresses his emotions. He's loving, caring, nurturing. Um, but with these other cards here... I know he suppresses his emotions, but I kind of get the sense that he's more reversed. And when he is in the reverse, he's emotionally manipulative. And then we have the tower. She's having a hissy fit, throwing everything around, breaking this situation down. So I feel like this person's not going to be very happy because their antics, it's like they're going to try to sway either a judge or okay if you're going to court they're going to try to sway somebody something to go in their favor that way so that they can come out on top and have it all it's not going to work in their favor and it's going to piss this person off they might you know show their true colors and be uh like flip out in court but something's going to get torn down this was built on a faulty foundation it's going to be torn down all the secrets are going to come out all this deception is going to be revealed and he's going to be pissed. Um, I really feel like if it's court proceedings, things will go in your favor, Leo. Um, or whoever is on the, the good side, I guess. Whoever wasn't doing these negative things um, is going to come out on top. Um, if this is has nothing to do with court and just has to do with a relationship I feel like this person's going to try to emotionally manipulate you to get to get what they want to sneak back in to have the upper hand but that's going to um, cause a tower moment because the universe is going to be like uh uh no we're gonna we're gonna break this down and it's not gonna happen that's not how you get what you want it's almost like a mo I see a mother and a child in the universe or the divine is the mother and this your ex is the child and she's like no you can't do that like she's gonna come in and smack them <laughs> if that's the case so we'll just leave that tower right there and let's see if we can get just a little bit more clarification and go from there I'm trying to shorten these videos up. I don't care if they're like 40, 45 minutes long, but some of them were like over an hour, and I'm like, damn, I really need to stop talking. Like, that's too long. Libras, I mean, if you're in an abusive relationship, check that one out, But because that was long for a reason. I have a, a story at the end. So, let's see. Why is the Three of Pentacles and Justice here in the middle? Why, why weren't things fair? What wasn't fair? Or what isn't fair? What needs to be fair? Why is this here? Oh, there it is. Someone made a bad decision. Like I said, could have been at work with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely could have been at work. Somebody made a bad decision. Could have been 
if they had a gambling problem, like I said, they, they made a bad decision, they lost all the money. If it was at work, they probably stole from work, did something like that, got fired. If it was just in the relationship, with the Six of Cups that happened in the past, the past is coming to bite them in the ass. So if it happened in the relationship, they made a poor judgment call and they were not fair. Okay, um, let's see. Why is the King of Swords and the Fool in Leo's thoughts? What is this new beginning? Is it with this ex or is it alone? The Hangman. I think it's by yourself. You're feeling stuck in, the, in this right now. I, I really feel like somebody's going to court. It's almost like you're not fully alone yet. But you're trying to look at things from a different perspective. You're feeling stuck in a situation and you want to have a new beginning. I think you're planning. You're planning a new beginning. To get away from that King of Cups, that emotionally manipulative person. Okay, what is this truth? Why is the Queen of Swords here in Leo's feelings about their ex? Is this truth? Is this lies? Is this endings? What is this? Okay. Justice reversed and the lovers, which is the deci decision, head over heart decision. This is things not being fair, things not being just. A decision that wasn't fair. A decision in love that wasn't fair. Yeah, you want to know the truth about why they made this decision. So for some of you, I feel it was a third party. You want justice in it. You want, you want to know what the hell happened. Um, for others of you, it's just, you know, there's all those other scenarios I said. It's just the decision they made. It was not justified. It was not fair to you. Whatever this person did was not fair and you want justice for it you want the truth you want that clarity and you want to cut them down until you get it yeah it wasn't fair with the six of pentacles okay well let's see why are they healing why is leo's ex healing or thinking why resting knight of swords someone came at them with communication they found something out all right, why is the Four of Swords here? Or they might have opened their mouth to the wrong person, which is kind of funny if you think about it. Karma's a bitch. Ten of Cups, not being emotionally fulfilled. Oh, they're hurt. They're healing because you don't want them back. Oh, poor person. Well, if they weren't being fair, what goes around comes around. No offense. Yeah, they weren't being fair. Six of Pentacles, still there. Okay, so you said no. Um, I'm not clarifying everything, but let's see. This whole stack right here in the X's Wands. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Devil, Eight of Swords, and the Emperor. What is this all about? Why is that what they want? Ace of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups. That's not having a new beginning with in a relationship, not having a new start, not getting what you want. This person's pissed. It's almost like they're going to flip a switch and, you know, go come in being all passionately like, ooh, and then the devil comes in and he's like, fuck you. You don't want to be with me? I don't like you. Like, you know? So it, and it could also be lies about a connection they could still have multiple people especially if they were in that third party situation whatever they brought somebody else in um and you could very well be a male leo and this woman ex female could have two men two different men and it's not starting I mean, because it, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. You know the situation. Just base it off of actions and feelings and whatnot. Because um, I, don't, I don't like to read gender-based. I will 
if I really feel it, like in Libra's reading, I felt it. I knew that that abusive guy was a guy, like, and I wasn't going to read it any other way. But normally it's, okay, this could be male or female, this could be male or female. Take it where it resonates. All right, so why is the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords here for Leo's action? We have the world and the sun. Yeah, you want to relieve this, this stress, get this clarity, get be happy, and you want to end it. You're ending it. You don't want any part of it. You're not waiting around. You're not putting. You're not investing any more time into this. You don't want it. Okay. Yeah, that's self love. You want to love thyself, which is amazing, and I love it. I want to know what this eight of wands, three of cups, and six of wands is like. Why is this fast? They feel like you're moving on fast. Is that what that is? That you're just having the time of your life and without them. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, new beginning. They feel like you've moved on, that you're successful, that you know, you're you're getting what you want. They want part of it. Three of Pentacles is in the middle. Now we have it again. They want part of it. They want to work with you. Yeah, well. Too late. It's almost like they have been secretly waiting and hoping and wishing for you. What is the Wheel of Fortune here for? For the overall outcome? The overall outcome between them. That's options. Seven of Cups. Not having clarity. Not knowing what to do. Or choosing to have options. Like, you know, I'm leaving my options open here. I don't... I don't want to settle down with you. Let's see. What is this? What is the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Cups? I just heard time's up. I have options. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Strength reversed. You're giving up on this. There's stress here with the eight of swords, knight of cups, and the five of cups reversed. Yeah. So your person is stressed out because you're giving up. You have options. You don't want to be with this person. And they're not one of your options. So they're stressed out because they came in too late with this love offer. Or you just weren't going to accept it anyways. And with the Five of Cups, you know, they were... They sat too long in this woe is me mopey stage. And, you know, now they want to come back when you... You know, you're not in that mopey stage anymore. You're good. You're healed. You, you know what I mean? And then the Wheel of Four. It's not going in their favor. It's just not. So, let's see. I shuffled these before and we have separation at the bottom of the deck. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. So, some of you could have just recently separated from this person. Others of you could have been separated for a while. Um, I feel like those of you who are dealing with the judicial system, like going to court and whatever... Um, had just broken up more recently than the other one, other than the other one, than the other Leos. All right, let's see. What advice do you have for Leo in this situation with this ex? We have wedding. Yeah, you could be getting divorced. True love. Which fell over here on options. I'll leave it there. It's so funny where they land. I feel like because you're allowing the self-love in and you're listening to yourself, which or trying to listen to yourself, trying to he uh, heal that um, from this mar past marriage. Um, and if you weren't married to this person, this new person, you know, you could get married to them in the future. Um, now that you're letting that go, some and you're loving yourself that makes room for a for someone new to come in 
Let's see, is there any more advice? Codependency, yeah, and that's over here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. What did I say before? It could be a gambling addiction. It could be drug, alcohol, whatever. It could also be, um, you know, codependent on people, on, on a situation, on a person, on just being in a relationship in general. This person has some issues that they need to work out. Um, I feel like, you know, somebody's going through a divorce here. But ultimately... If you choose to love yourself and end this situation, you're going to have your true love and, you know, a high-level commitment. So, yeah, Leo, that's what I have for you. Um, I feel like this is actually pretty great. I know that there was some icky stuff in here, but there usually is. Um, that's why some of our exes, they're definitely an ex for a reason. <laughs> Trust me. Um yeah, so I already went on my whole spiel, so I don't have to do that at the end. But you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. I read all my comments. Um, the more you interact with me, the more apt I am to pick up on your energy. I know I didn't say that in the beginning, but you guys already know, especially if you're not new to my channel. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck with all of this. And if you'd like a personal reading, like to touch in if this is your story and you want to know more about what's going on with the, you know... If you're getting a divorce and, and whatnot, uh, the situation, especially if it goes beyond what I saw, hit me up and I'll give you that information. Um, I wish you guys the best and I will see you soon because I do plan on doing at least one more general reading for the month of March and then we'll move into April and whatever. But I wish you guys the best. Have a good one. Bye.